What has surprised me most is uh, the level of efficiency in the constructions of uh, both roads and railway. We also have um, an expressway uh, from the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to the Nairobi CBD. Uh, it, we used to take about two hours to get to the airport and so many people could, um, could miss their flights. But now it only takes about uh, five to ten minutes and you are at the airport. The infrastructure of roads, hospitals, uh, stadiums and all important uh, uh, buildings in Comoros have been built by the Chinese. So I don't think there is any other country who did that best in our country than China. I must say you took me by surprise. Since I arrived, when I joined the meetings and the discussions, I had a, a lot of government-to-government -government, uh, investment projects that uh, China supported Lesotho with, with, especially under the um, Road and Belt Initiative to support education, healthcare services in Lesotho. One of the main achievements China-Africa cooperation is construction of the Africa Center for Disease Control headquarters in Addis Ababa as well. After the completion of the project, the Africa Center for Disease Control is now well equipped to provide African solution to health issues on the continent. China working with Africa in a very um, honest, equitable, mutually beneficial way where people have equal opportunities and working together for a better world and a better future. We are now a better connected society than we were before the uh, before Chinese assistance in that regard. Now we are moving into the modernization. There are quite a lot of projects across the continent. It will be in the energy space, it will be in the, in the science field, right? all of them. It's the support and the partnership. But of course, uh, you know, when it comes to partnership, uh, Gambia has uh, quite a lot of uh, very fruitful relationships mm. when it comes to the health sector. Mm. Uh, cooperation in regards to capacity building, cooperation mm. with regards to uh, you know, advancement of the health of the people. We have significant changes in terms of train services and in terms of college from our seaports to the hinterland. For instance now, there are huge employment uh, coordination between Chinese government and uh, Nigerian government in terms of transportation system. Our younger generation uh, get employed uh, because of the system. Uh, secondly, uh, in terms of economy, uh, the economy is improving. In the future, uh, one of the main areas will be to work together for the industrialization of Africa. We are expecting that with the partnership with China, we'll have, uh, we'll uh, implement mechanization of uh, agriculture. We are seeing a lot of uh, cooperation in technology, in agricultural technologies, in industrial technologies, in mining technologies, in ICT, high performance computing. So there's a lot of cooperation that is happening between Zimbabwe and the People's Republic of China. I see potential on both trade, I see potential both on investment, I also see potential on a development project that China can do with Lesotho.